What is good everybody? It is Spill here and welcome back to the NBA 2K Lab channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the effects of Pick Dodger and Brick Wall and compare how effective they are against each other at each badge level. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more 2K24 content like this. Let's get right into it. The long definition of the brick wall badge says that it increases the effectiveness of screens and drains energy from opponents on physical contact. Now for this particular video, we're going to be focusing on the screen effectiveness, but not only that, we're going to compare each level of brick wall against each level of pick dodger and see how they stack up against each other. Let's first start by looking at how no pick dodger stacks up against brick wall at each badge level. You can set some pretty effective screens even without brick wall against a defender with no pick dodger as we can see a good screen percentage of 43%. Bronze and silver see a slight bump, but it's most likely not enough to see a no noticeable difference but once you get to the gold level of brick wall you should start to really feel the screens connecting as we can see a good screen percentage of 59 percent in this scenario i'm going to tell you right now that i think gold brick wall is a great sweet spot if you're looking to set effective screens and get your teammates open moving on to the hall of fame level though we can see an enormous jump from the gold level against no pick dodger with a good screen percentage of 74 percent now these numbers are insane but they come back to earth when faced with a higher level of pick dodger which we're going to get into shortly but regardless hall of fame brick wall is an extremely heavy investment for your my player because you You'll need 99 strength and it's pretty rare to come across someone with this badge but now let's look at the other extreme let's see how each level of brick wall stacks up against hall of fame pick dodger now hall of fame pick dodger is a great badge but it's also another hefty investment as it requires a 98 perimeter defense and pitting this badge against no brick wall we can see a good screen percentage of 28 percent which is roughly one in four screens setting screens with no brick wall is nearly useless in this scenario against better defenders the bronze level of brick wall shows a slight jump but still leaves a lot to be desired as it's about one out of three screens will be effective moving on to the silver level it shows some promise and it may work decent with a good screen percentage of 39 percent but where we see the biggest jump is from silver to gold as we can see a good screen percentage of almost 50 percent now as i mentioned before gold brick wall definitely seems to be the sweet spot especially with the hall of fame level not showing a huge increase in this scenario here's the full graphic for every badge level and if you're a big man setting a lot of screens i would definitely aim for at least gold brick wall for the best results and if you're a primary defender you should look to at least get gold pick dodger however if you're not the primary defender silver pick dodger offers great value as well and it really depends on what you want out of your build. Now that is all we got for this brick wall versus pick dodger video, a true two in one badge test. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did or found it informative, be sure to leave a like. It's Ben Spill and I'm out. Later.